It's Rob's Arcade, where his games get played. It's all the rage here in Rob's Arcade. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Rob's Arcade. I am your host, Rob French, a.k.a. Red 5 French, here in the gaming world. Thank you. And, um... Today in Rob's Arcade, we're going to try something just a little bit, um, just a little bit different. Uh, typically, all right, guys, that's enough. Thank you, thank you. Calm down. Thank you. All right. Typically, uh, when I come to you guys and I'm playing games, I will talk about whatever uh, game it is that I'm playing. You know, whether it's like uh, Ghostbusters, I'll talk about Ghostbusters. If I'm playing Spider-Man, I'll talk about Spider-Man. Um, but the other day I was uh, in one of my videos, I mentioned the Ninja Turtles, and I thought like, oh, it'd be cool to do a, like a Ninja Turtle video, but there uh, isn't actually a, like a Ninja Turtle game that I could download uh, on my PS4 and like kind of talk about with you guys, and then I thought, well, like, you know, this GTA universe is, you know, um, such a you know, diverse and, and, and giant world, I could kind of use this to uh, kind of hang out with you guys and really talk about anything. And, excuse me, I'm going to get a sip of water. <clears throat> and uh, I was kind of reminded of uh, something I wanted to talk about. Um, about my wife and I uh, went to a uh, uh, Disney World for a recent trip. And... Um, Basically, uh, like after three or four days of being there, some of the, I guess, uh, the lack of uh, attention and respect to like social distancing uh, was just like baffling. I was like, man, I, I kind of want to do like a video on this. And instead of just like sitting in front of the camera and you guys just like looking at a guy, you know, who uh, is not a doctor, talk about social distancing in this pandemic, I thought, well, like I said, maybe I'll just hang out with you guys in this GTA universe and uh, maybe kind of give you guys something entertaining to look at as well as, um, you know, uh, kind of talking to you guys. I think, you know, that's something important and uh, maybe even using some of the environments here, as, like the apartment, as well as... Uh, uh, Los Santos uh, and the people and the citizens to kind of like demonstrate and show you guys the importance of like social distancing and all that so anyway let's go ahead and like uh, let's just jump right into it and uh, we're gonna go ahead and look around my apartment here and I guess that the first the most important thing is if uh, you don't have to go outside just don't go outside stay inside uh, it's mind-boggling the people that you know to continue just to go outside because they're bored and they need something to do or whatever um, just don't, don't do it. Uh, you know, some of you might be saying, okay, well, you, got, you guys went to Disney World, but, you know, we, we went for my birthday. It was kind of like a celebration, and, you know, you're going to go out, you're going to celebrate things, you're going to do things, and, you know, have a good time. But, um, you know, it's like you can order just about everything, groceries and, you know, alcohol, and just, I mean, gosh, you, even, you know, um, the, the, the simplest things can just be delivered to your door. So, if, really, if you don't need to go out, don't do it. I go to work. Um, and I go to grocery store a few times a week. Of course, I go to the comic book store, you know, once a week to get, uh, you know, my new, uh, my new, my new comics, my new releases. But, um, you know, other than that, I, I don't really, I don't really go anywhere. It, it kills me. My, my, my dad, uh, you know, he's well into the retirement age. Um, and he's, he has, he has cancer that he's dealing with and, you know, he continually goes out and just, you know, runs errands when he doesn't have to buying groceries that, you know, we already have. And, it's just like you know, no, you need to stay home more than, more than anybody, and uh, you know, working at a restaurant, I run into the same thing all the time too. Like these, you know, elderly couples who should just be staying home or having food delivered, you know, are just coming out just because oh, we're just bored, we want to get out the house. And it's like no, the weather's nasty. You know, you guys should just be uh, inside and uh, trying to stay safe. Um, so yeah, if you don't have to go, um, you know, outside, you know, don't don't do it. Uh, you know, you get bored, you know, you can always watch, uh, little TV. Um, oh. I'm sure there's always something on that you haven't seen before. That vine would never move on! That's 
crazy. I'm back, bitches! <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it! <laughs> see what else is on TV. And see, look, you only have to go outside to see what's going on outside. Got some camera set up. I can kind of keep track of what's going on. I don't know if I've actually like, watched TV on this. This is actually kind of cool. Um, but yeah, you know, you can always just, like I said, just watch a movie you've never uh, seen before. Um, let me show you over here. Like, make sure you keep a, a full bar stock during this pandemic times. Uh, if you want to see what's going on outside, you know, yeah, get yourself a telescope as well. And kind of check things out, and it's amazing. Like people are like, "Oh my God, I gotta go outside! I gotta get outside!" There's nothing going on outside. Like, look, nothing. Nothing's happening. As soon as you go outside, you always want to come right back. And you know, people act like, "Oh, I want to go out! I want to go out!" Like the first thing that happens when you go out, what? You want to go back inside? See, so look, nothing's going on. So, <clears throat> um, let's see some other things we can kind of talk about in here. Some wine. Now, wine and, you know, the, the, the bar is important. I hear, like, alcohol in small doses is supposed to be good for you. And uh, in heavy doses, it will definitely help with the boredom of quarantine. Make sure you get plenty of vitamins and minerals. I'm gonna drink your green juice here. Doesn't taste very good, but <sighs> it's good for you. There you go. Get plenty of minerals and vitamins. Try to stay healthy. Um... Oh yes, here we go. Get your greens in. Make sure you get your sure. Plenty of plenty of greens during this pandemic. Uh, of course, and it's amazing to me. I, I'm always seeing uh, you know these advertisements, and, and um, I guess this this is a public service announcement here, I guess as well. But you know, uh, public service announcements and stuff for this you know this pandemic that we're going through about wearing masks and just washing your hands and stuff like that. But some of it's like so basic. It's like yeah, just stay clean. You know, um, during all this, I was just getting a snap from my cousin. He was like, hasn't bathed in like days. I'm like, dude, you're going to get the coronavirus just because you're so dirty. So yeah, make sure you wash your hands and you stay clean during all this. Okay. Do -do -do. It's Rob's Arcade. Rob's Arcade, where the games get played. It's all the craze here in Rob's Arcade. Don't you rage, cause everything's okay. Hanging out here in Rob's Arcade. This is a high quality face paint here, it does not come off. So, no matter how much I scrub and wash, I'm okay. Rob's Arcade. Da -da -da -da. All right. There we go. Now, if you do have to go out, and since this is all about like social distancing here, um, make sure you dress appropriately. You know, make sure you're uh, wearing your masks, your gloves, and uh, stay safe when you go out. So anyway, like I said, yeah, we went to uh, to Disney, and I feel like you know anywhere you go, uh, you know you're 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 just going to run into crowds of people who just don't understand what it means to social distance and keep you know. Um, a safe distance from people, you know, anywhere you go, any store, 
Um, but I guess just there with the, you know, um, with, with the crowds and everything. Oh wow, I'm trying to do something nice and I got a bounty set on me. Uh, it just, it, it got to be a little bit much um, at times. And then you're also, of course, you're dealing with people who, um, who are traveling from other countries and other areas who might not, you know, understand everything that's going on. But for the most part, we had a really good time at Disney and uh, they did everything really well. Um, but yeah, like I said, there was just a few families that we uh, <coughs> encountered. Go ahead and write this guy. Uh, while we were there, that was just like a little bit ridiculous. And I was like, you know, I want to talk about this, I think. Because um, there's people that, you know, they have to um, help enforce this. And I think a lot of times people forget that, you know, these aren't the rules of people or individuals who work in these, you know, um, amusement parks or work in these stores or restaurants. You know, uh, they're just... Speaking of amusement park, let's do this. Let's use the amusement park. Here. Where's that guy at? Way over here. Okay. There we go. We use the amusement park here to kind of help um, demonstrate. Uh, watch out, buddy. Oh, I missed my turn anyway. What was I talking about? I think it's talking about like the, the people who are, you know, have to help enforce some of these rules and some of these guidelines and, you know, it's, it's taken out on them and it's not fair, it's not right. Like, you know, these people are just trying to do their jobs and, um, the stuff is there for a reason uh, and, and it doesn't really hurt anything. Like, I think, you know, people get so upset with some of this stuff, like, why do I have to keep six feet apart? Why do I have to stand on this marker? Why do I have to stand on this tape? And it's like, you know, does it really, does it really matter why? Is it really hurting you? You know, I think, I guess, the line moves slower if it's longer in distance. Um, you know, but if you're the fourth in line, it doesn't matter if you're the fourth in line standing, you know, um, 10 feet away from the checkout or, uh, you know, 20-some 20, 20 feet from the from the checkout. So I think people get a little crazy. Yeah, dude, let's go. There's a little biker gang going. Um, with having to comply with some of this stuff. But I was just, yeah, I just, uh, even at a, at a convenience store the other day, and it's like a guy had to stand in between the markers. Um, and just kept, like, you know, kind of swinging himself a little bit closer and closer while this guy's getting his lottery ticket. It's like, you know, just, just stand on the marker, dude. Just kind of, just kind of relax a little bit. You know, look at all these people out here. Nobody's wearing a, a mask or, or anything. It's kind of scary. I'm not wearing my helmet though, so I gotta be careful. I don't know, man. Alright. Actually, let's go ahead. We'll stop right here for a second. Let's see if some of these guys, um,. So let's see. All right, so yeah, it's all look, but don't touch now and ship us still. See that was too close. See that that's too close. All right. Um, so at, at Disney, okay, we got this guy um, coming up behind me here. Let's see here. Now he should stop at that marker. But he's not going to. And if he doesn't, you should be able to carry a stick and knock somebody out. So many times when I was at Disney and somebody would not stop at the marker, I just want to be like, alright, is there any way I can like use my stick or something? Yeah, see that's that's exactly what you should be able to do. You should have like a stick that allows you just to like hit somebody, knock them out, and then stand back. Because so now people can keep six feet away from him. Like if you know he's not going to comply and keep six feet away from me, now at least people can comply and keep six feet away from him. See, pretty pretty simple solution. I wanted like an umbrella a lot of times in line, um, and some of it was like kids, you know, too, like dealing with kids um, and some of these crowds and 
you know, this is just kind of up to the parents. Uh, so, you know, kids are going to be kids. Understand that. You know, you're having fun. You want to you want to be able to jump around and have a good time. Um, but that's really up to the parents. Um, and for the most part, like, see, these guys right here are too close. No masks on. You know, too many. Too many. It's not too bad. It's just a couple of people there. But like, yeah, see, none of these. None of these people have any masks. Oh, that's crazy. Let's check out this. Uh, Park down here. Let's see what's going on. The amusement park. So I kind of use these guys to demonstrate what I'm talking about. See, these people are here, too close, no masks. All right, we're going to do this here. Maybe we'll see if this works. Do another little demonstration. So we'll use this right here as markers. And like I said, man, follow the markers. You know, uh, these people don't want to, um, perfect. Oh, no, don't run. Oh, man. Oh, well. Because it's not going to work. My new website covers all three of my careers. Um, drink a little. Don't say anything. I Shh. Hold on a second. A little truly action there. Hold in my same cousin who doesn't bathe, turn me on to the truly actions, seltzers, just in general. All right, let's see, hopefully, hopefully, let me see, just, just don't run from it. Don't run. Oh. It's not gonna work. I'm hoping to use these as markers. Like, you know, I could put like one here, one here. Oh. Well. Should I could probably maybe carry a couple of these to Disney and, um. Would have helped, uh. Clear the crowd out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, like, oh, that was something else I was talking about. Like, yeah, these, these people who, like, you know, they, they put down the tape, they do all these things. Like, you know, they don't want to do this stuff either, but they did it. So, like, why not just, like, you know, if, if nothing else, just stand on the tape because somebody went through the action of, like, you know, putting it together for a reason. Um, you know, doing all this stuff for a reason, as stupid as the reason may be, or as pointless as you think it might be, you know, like I said, somebody did this for a reason, so just, do, like, just do it, like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill you. I work at a restaurant, and I say the people who are, like, amazed at, like, uh, just last night even, why they can't wait inside the restaurant, um, boggles my mind because, you know, there's, like, just, like, no space up front, really, and, you know, you have to keep um, social distance for the employees, for other um, customers who are coming and going inside the restaurant themselves. And uh, yeah, people just don't understand. Like we say, you know, give us your number. You know, we'll text you when the table's ready. You can wait in your car. Like we understand it's cold outside. Um, you know. We're not evil. But, uh, yeah, people just don't, um, seem to get it. And still, like, you know, we're going into a year of this, and it's, uh, still, like, just surprising to people that they have to wear a mask when they come into the restaurant, even if it's just for, you know, a few moments uh, while they get to their table. And then, you know, some people don't understand either where they'll wear it up until the point where their their food comes out like they'll they'll wear it when oh this is cool i'm getting points just for talking to you guys about whatever here we go Whee! kind of raise my hands here we go yeah do a little maybe cinematic camera angles there here we go very cool uh, but yeah they'll wear their mask the entire time um up until the point where the food comes it's like you know you can you can Take it off. 
while you're while you're having your drinks and talking with your friends. To be like extra extra cautious. But I guess that's with a lot of things. You can't get just one, you know, you can't get a happy medium. It's like one extreme or the other. People are trying to figure out how to keep their um, their mask on and eat at the same time. Or they just don't want to wear one at all. It's kind of kind of nasty day to be at the uh, to be at the uh, to be at the amusement park. What the heck? Why would they have the exit Listen, this is blocked off? That's so that's so ridiculous. But, you know, um, if all else fails, uh, there are some, some, you know, some things you can do. Like I said, you can just carry a crowbar, I guess. Oh, excuse, <laughs> no, excuse you. Uh, that wasn't, that wasn't uh, social distancing. And then you, you find people like that who will just, like, run past you, still want to bump, like, right into you, walk right next to you. My wife is very cautious of, like, even my personal space. Sometimes I think I get a little ahead of myself and... I like to walk and run through crowds in the grocery store because I'm in a hurry or whatever. And a lot of times she'll um, kind of pull me back, reel me in a little bit, and um, make me aware of my own personal space. Sometimes I'm not even aware of it, and I think that's something that uh, just kind of is uh, the, the bottom, you know, underlying factor of um, social distancing and, and everything. It's just being aware of your own space, being aware of other people's space. Um, and this is kind of sad. I got kind of rained out. I actually got rained out in um, this virtual world here. <laughs> Los Santos. I was going to talk about social distancing. It looks like everybody has um, has gone has gone home. So uh, I think I'm probably uh, going to go home too. Because like I said, I think that was the most important thing. Um, you know, if you don't go out, you don't have to worry about social distancing. You don't have to worry about crowds and other people um, but uh, thanks for hanging out with me trying out something new like I said this was kind of fun something a little different like that typically when I'm talking with you guys about um, a game that I'm playing it's about that franchise or that you know, movie or comic book or whatever so this is just been kind of cool just to kind of hang out with you guys and just talk about something in general and talk about something that's actually you know um, not, not terrible. It's very relevant. Oh no, you're getting all wet. And, uh... You know, people don't, I think, talk about it a lot of times because it just makes uh, people uncomfortable. And there are very different opinions on, like, social distancing and the pandemic and wearing masks and all this stuff. But I think at the end of the day, it's not necessarily just about you and your opinion. You're about to have that. Um, but, you know, if... If wearing a mask and, and, and taking the time to be, you know, aware of your space and, and social distance and all of that, um, at the end of the day, if you can do those things, it's not hurting you. And, you know, yeah, it might be, might be helping somebody else. And if it's not even about the coronavirus, and again, you don't want to um, <clears throat> believe in it or think, you know, the media is hyping it up more than it is or, you know, the numbers aren't what they say they are and whatever, that doesn't really matter either. Really, you know, just in in terms of just germs and um, getting sick, period, you know, like if this will help, you know, keep you a little bit safer and keep you from even getting the flu or getting the common cold, and, and you know, do it. Why not? Is that, what, what's, it, what's it hurting? I love the uh, the, the videos and the, the, uh, the rants and the scenes that are created because somebody doesn't want to um, wear a mask for five seconds to a table or, you know, uh, what have you, or ten minutes while they're inside a grocery store and it turns into this big, huge thing. It's like, man, if you just worn a mask, like, gosh, you know, just, I mean, you're like, you're on the internet now, it's like, things seem just like, you know, it's just this ridiculous burst, <laughs> like this big, huge baby having a fit or a breakdown, uh, and it's just like, gosh, like, the, the end result is just not worth it, so... 
like I say, guys, be aware, <coughs> be aware of your surroundings, be aware of other people's surroundings, and, uh, you know, wear a mask, guys, because it's not for yourself or other people around you. Like I said, you know, um, I live with my father, and, you know, he's at, he's at high risk, so I try to limit where I go, use a lot of hand sanitizer. Um, I've been known to even, like, go to the laundry room, strip down, put my clothes in the hamper right away, take a shower, and put on fresh, clean clothes before I do anything else, you know, so... Be safe out there, guys. And again, ooh, I should not have taken this vehicle. Uh, be safe out there. <laughs> and until next time, uh, don't spend your quarter anywhere else, guys. Thanks a lot. Gosh, this is really bad. I'll make it home okay. Great, great day to pick this for social distancing. Nobody's outside. <laughs> There's nobody out here. <laughs> what are you doing out here, dude?